Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Um, today I'm showing another card using the Plentiful Plants bundle. I love this bundle. And we're also going to be adding the Macrame 3D embossing folder to this card. And we are going to be using the Bloom Where You're Planted designer series paper. I love this paper especially the brick, and that's what we're gonna be doing. So this is a card that we are going to be making today. Okay, so we're gonna start with a five and a half by eight and a half basic thick white cardstock. If you wanna score this, you'd score it at four and a quarter. Um, and either, whether you score it or not, I would use your bone folder to varnish in the creases, okay? And then we have a piece of our Cajun Craze. This piece measures at one and a quarter by five. We are going to run it through our cut and emboss machine using this new folder, which I love. So let's get that out. And we're going to need plates one and four because this is a 3D embossing folder. So we will need plate one and plate four. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that through. Just like that. Put that machine over there and voila. Love this, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to use um, I'm using stamp and seal. You can use whatever adhesive that you use. I'm going to put it closest to the left side and I wanna make sure that I still have like the white around the edge on both sides. Then we have this piece, which is the designer series paper that measures at three and a half by four and a half. And we're just gonna put that flat on just like we put this last piece on flat. And now we're just gonna kind of overlap it a little bit, still leaving some white on the side here. And we're just gonna leave it like that, okay? Now we have a piece of white cardstock. This measures at two and a half by four and a half. And this is what we're going to use to stamp. So I'm going to start with the same. I'm gonna start on the bottom and work my way up. So we're gonna start with a Sane and I'm stamping that in Sahara Sands. And I'm gonna go to the very bottom of this card, just like that, okay? And I used crumb cake. I didn't even use the right ink pad. So <laughs> let's flip that over. Although, you know what? It doesn't matter. That looks good too, right? Although this piece is Sahara Sands. Does that look okay? You guys think that looks okay? You know what, we're going with it. I don't think it really matters, do you? All right, so we are going to stamp in the Just Jade. Um, I think it looks fine, either way. We're gonna go with it. I'm going to stamp in the Just Jade, which I just realized right now that I do not have that stamp. Where did that stamp go? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so sorry about that. It fell on the floor and I'm like, wait a minute, where'd that stamp go? So we wanna stamp this greenery right here on this piece of cardstock. So with that said, I want to still make sure that I am leaving enough space for it to fit underneath here. So I am going to just kind of place this like this. And now I'm going to kind of keep my finger there. I'm kind of just really guessing. And I'm just going to stamp that right there. All right, because now I am going to put, which for the sake of the video, I've already cut these out. I'm going to put this like this, this like this. We're gonna pop them up and then we're gonna put that over top. So let's get out our dimensionals. I feel like I'm very unorganized all of a sudden and I am don't know why. All right, so let's do that. 
And then I'm gonna cut this one in half here and put one on each side of the leaf, like that. So we'll peel that off. So I had nails that I normally have professionally done. Not always, but sometimes. And I've been doing them and I had them dipped. And long story short, they started peeling off before I could even get take care of them. And so now I basically took it off and my nails are super short and they hurt really bad. So <laughs> I feel like I can't grab these little dimensional the backings of the dimensionals. All right, so I'm gonna use some green glue. I'm just gonna kind of put some little dots in these little areas like this. And now I'm going to just place that over the top like this, okay? And I just kind of wanna rub, not too hard like I just did. I just kind of wanna rub it a little bit, let it sit. All right, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a piece of my linen thread and I am going to put it through the hole of this little guy up here. And if I can get it. Well, geez, let's try that again. Guys, I feel like I'm so disorganized today. I don't know what's going on. There we go. So I'm going to put it through the hole like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a little adhesive on the back and I'm going to bring this down so that it stays just like that, okay? Now I'm going to pop this piece up with dimensionals. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put, and then one in the center, because we don't want a saggy center. So I'm going to do it like that. And then we are going to put this up a little bit higher here because I want the brick to show at the bottom and the side and a little to the side. So we're just gonna kind of go like this. All right. And there is another card using the Plentiful Plants Bundle. Thank you.